Get ready because it's time for Hoda and Jenna's Relationship Dilemmas. And here to help us out is three-day rule matchmaker and dating expert, one of our favorites, Devin Simone. Hi, Devin. Hello, Hi, ladies. Devin. Good morning. So good to see you. Shall Likewise. we get Wait, going? so is there a new trend? What do we hear? What there, is a new dating in trend? For ladies? There is a new trend. Studies are showing that women are preferring shorter men and bold men. I told you before. <laughs> no, I've said this on this program. re -rack. I've said short, bald it's men. In. I don't think you said Thank you. Bald you know what? Thank you. Bald you, you liked bald. No, do you I'm remember? not sure you doubled okay. down on the short no, and the short bald. short and bald. Do you remember on Sex and the City? Yes. Okay. Yes, I actually Case, remember you saying that. Case in that point. Harry. Yeah. Harry. People are wanting the Harrys now. I told and they're you. showing that. Oh, you that is, yeah. Hold Thank you. Hold I'm always Scott ahead Royal. of the trend. You, next you, one, I'll tell you the next trend later. What is it? I can't write now. Commercial All right, let's get to some viewer questions first. We got Emily and Gabriel from New York City. Hi, I'm Emmeline, I'm 26 years old, and I feel like I'm the only one in my friend group who hasn't had an adult relationship last very long. Do you have any advice on how I can find someone to stick with long term? Oh, she's well, so adorable. I, I bet a lot of people have that question. Yeah. She's so not by sweet. herself. Well, first thing I would tell Emmeline is we're all in our unique journey and our unique timeline. So try not to compare to like friends totally. and other people. Go at your own pace. You know, over half of singles under the age of 30 do utilize dating apps to find someone for a long term relationship. Over 55% of singles have actually reported that they found a long term relationship on an app like Tinder. And Tinder has a cool feature now for those who don't know where you can actually list what you're looking for short term. Mm relationship up front, long-term relationship, and long-term relationship is the most popular um, relationship goal that is listed on that app. So apps aren't a bad way to go. Well, I mean, there's so many apps. Is there one that's best for long-term? Because I feel like I mean, I don't know, but it varies per city. But I will say this. I love that Tinder, like Tinder gets a really bad rep, yeah. but it's actually not true. It's just that they're the biggest and they started yeah, it all. Yeah. So then everything but I also falls think on you them. You have to know if you're ready. Like, I'm not saying for her, but right. if you're ready for long term, because yeah. why you have to figure out not just how do I meet him, exactly. but also am I prepared? Do I feel ready? And you're, you're ready when you're ready. Totally. Exactly. Then and then ask them up front whether you meet them on an app or not. Yeah. Don't be afraid on that first date to say, hey, oh, this is kind of where I am. You're not saying I want to be in a relationship with you. No, I know no. it's scary. Girl. No, 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 Devin, 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 Devin. Did you read Devin. the rules? We still Devin. abide by them. No, you know, I met my fiance on an app, first of all. And, and second of all, say? you're just setting your clear intentions. It's not telling him, be in a relationship with me. You're saying, hey, great to meet you. My life's great. This is what I'm doing. This is kind of what I'm looking for. I'm not really into the situationship thing. Is that your vibe? And that's all. You're not telling him what he has to do. You're just telling you're him just, what, okay. what you're okay. looking for. Right. The way okay you said it apps, was good. But okay. we're not okay with ultimatum. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, the next up, we have Nicole Brumley. She's from Toronto, Canada. Canada. So over the pandemic, my boyfriend and I spent a lot of time at home, but over the past year or so, I've been trying to encourage him to get out more, take me out for dates, but now he says he's a homebody and he would prefer to date from home. What's your advice? How can I get this guy to take me out and leave the house? First of all, girl, you are worth every date and every place that you want to go mm -hmm. to, and your partner should recognize that. But if he's gotten really comfortable, then you can start and kind of make it like a fun game and a challenge. So maybe you guys alternate. So fine, you go, all right, how about this? You plan two dates this month, mm -hmm. I plan two yeah, dates. And so he gets to plan two well, What if he says, I don't house. want, honey, I don't like going out. This so, is so fun here. Because it's a team effort. It's a team but, effort. Yeah, I mean, I sort of think you have to show what you want. So if you want to go to dinner, you make the dinner reservation and say, hey, we're going out on Friday. Exactly. Like, you don't Need mm -hmm. the, I don't think we and need to wait around no, for the man to make that yes. kind of understanding that he that he's not really that keen on your needs. Exactly. And yes. that and then, is a separate conversation. Yeah. Okay. okay. We got Ben Klein from Poughkeepsie, New York. Hi, Hoda and Jenna. My name is Ben. And my dilemma is my boyfriend is super expressive. Meanwhile, I tend to internalize a lot of things. He can always tell when something's on my mind, but I tend to shut him down or to say that I'm fine. How can I be more open? Mm. By the way, recognizing yeah. that, yes. saying it's it out huge. loud. He's already said, like, he's already okay, halfway that's there. So now what does That's growth. And so that's an excellent thing because growth is a key indicator of a long-term happy relationship. Think of it, some people are more open naturally, some aren't. It's just like sports or athletics. Some are naturally gifted, some have to work mm -hmm. on that muscle. Mm -hmm. First thing that you can do is start keeping a journal or a diary of when things are upsetting you and things that you love, and then do a weekly check-in. So you're just gonna ease yourself into it. And it mm -hmm. may feel unnatural, but again, it's like working the muscle. For me, going to the gym is unnatural, but you gotta get out there and, like, <laughs> you and push yourself. And then also make it a personal goal for yourself to start trying to be to share more things in the moment. So you can start small. It could literally be, 
I stubbed my toe, I'm so pissed. Or mm. I lost that thing at work, I'm annoyed. And you can work your way up to the things that, um, you know, that, that are right. bigger, because bigger. Because saying I'm fine, it's like a sort of a passive aggressive thing. You know, you know and, and, and also, what about, you know, speaking with somebody? Like, yeah. I, I believe in therapy from oh, the I beginning. Oh, 100%. 100% with the right person? With the right person. Yeah. It can, can be a little daunting to find a good therapist, yeah. but they're excellent. Um, my gosh. Thank you. All the time, the best advice. Thanks. And if you Thanks. have a relationship dilemma, tell us about it at hodanjana.com. All you have to do is hit the connect button.